The premiere episode of Taylor Sheridan's new series 1923 starts with a badass sequence in which Helen Mirren's Kara Dutton shoots a man running from her. While he begs her to wait, telling her she will never get to heaven if she kills him, Kara is indifferent as she reloads her gun and says, What do you know about heaven? She proceeds to kill him, but she is not happy at all. She screams at the sky, then walks away from the scene. We know who Kara Dutton is, but the audience learns it in a voiceover from none other than 1883's Elsa Dutton. She is the narrator of this series as well, telling us the story of what happened to her family after we saw them in 1883. We saw how her father James died in a Yellowstone season 4 flashback, but we never learned what happened to Margaret Dutton. Here in a sad voiceover, Elsa talks about the brutal death of her mother and how her brothers, John and Spencer, were left in the care of their uncle Jacob Dutton. Upon my father's death, my mother wrote to his brother, begging that he bring his family to this wild land and save hers. A year later, he arrived to find my mother frozen in a snowdrift and two boys half-starved and barely able to speak. He raised them as his own and took my father's dream and made it into an empire. After learning what happened in the 40 years between 1883 and 1923, the new series introduces us to new characters in Spencer, who we saw in a Yellowstone flashback. At the beginning of the episode, Spencer is in Africa, working as a paid hunter. After surviving the horrible events of World War I, which still hunts him in his nightmares, Spencer now hunts wild animals for money. In one scene, he arrives in Kenya and winds up at a posh safari camp where a blonde British woman tries to flirt with him. He couldn't be any more careless, but that ends up being convenient because the woman gets attacked by a leopard at night. Spencer manages to shoot the animal at the end, but soon finds out that another leopard is looming. The episode's last shot is something rushing up behind him, and as he turns around, the scene cuts to black. It's interesting to see a plotline in Africa in the Yellowstone universe. Spencer seems tormented by what he saw in the war, and we don't know if that's why he is away from his family. In the episode, we hear Kara's letter to him as she says, Why would you come home to us? We can't help but think your absence is punishment, that somehow we are the reason you won't return. That's selfish, I suppose. War changes men, I know. I can only assume you are seeking the part of yourself you lost, and I can only pray that you find it and come back to us. So, his reasons for staying away seem to be solely about his past in the war, not a few between him and the rest of the Dutton family. In one of Elsa's voiceover lines, she talks about how only one of her father's children grew up to see their own children. His only child is John Dutton Sr., as he has his own family and child called Jack. But will Spencer never have a child of his own? What Elsa says is ambiguous in that it's unclear whether she talks about what happened until 1923 or knows everything that will occur as an omnipresent narrator. We hope it's the first one because we would like to see Spencer have a family as well. Besides his storyline, we were also introduced to Jack, which we mentioned before. He is about to get married to a rancher's girl called Elizabeth, but the wedding has to be postponed due to a problem in the cattle drive. Elizabeth doesn't take the news well, as she is clearly in love with the young man and wants to marry him immediately, but Kara comes in to smooth things over and informs the young woman about their lifestyle. Although Elizabeth also comes from a rancher family, she has been a student in the East, so she is not steeped in this lifestyle like the Duttons. Kara tells her to want the lifestyle as well, not just Jack. Elizabeth is eager, as she says she will learn it. Another storyline we'll mention is the one that is really similar to what we've seen in Yellowstone for the last five seasons. Harrison Ford's Jacob Dutton is a mere copy of Kevin Costner's John Dutton. They are both trying to protect their land from outside forces. One of these forces is a sheep herder named Banner Creighton who complains about the limited grazing land for his sheep. He makes it evident that he is eyeing the Dutton's land, which for Banner is a ton of land. But Jacob responds angrily, I have what my family fought for. You want to fight me for it too. I didn't think so. If you wanted more land, you should have leased more. But towards the end of the episode, Banner and his men let their flock pass into someone's private property. We're guessing it's the property belonging to the Duttons. We'll see what problems this will cause in the next episode. The final storyline belongs to a young Native American girl who is a student in a Catholic school for girls. All the school teachers are white nuns and they whitewash the girls in an attempt to assimilate them. The girl Tiana gets involved in a brawl with one of the nuns and ends up beating the nun. As a result, the head priest of the school, Father Renaud, comes and beats both the nun and Tiana, showing us what kind of harsh discipline is going on at the school. The last shot of Tiana in the episode is her secretly talking to her friend about running away from school. Let's see if she will manage that in the following episodes. Did you like the premiere episode of 1923? Tell us about your thoughts on the series in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you soon.